Let's bring in Florida Senator and former uh, two-term governor of Florida, Rick Scott. Uh, Senator, there's a, there's a worry and concern about fatalities. We have, uh, what could you tell us about that? Well, I talked to, I talked to the sheriff this morning, um, and I know there's a lot of rescue efforts going on. Um, I mean, I hope to pray that that's not true, that we, um, I mean, I, any, any person that loses their life is horrible. Um, and I know there's a lot of people that are not being able to reach their, uh, their loved ones. I know it's, it's hard for them. Uh, but I do know that uh, our first responders, our sheriffs, our police departments, our rescue teams are going to get to people as quickly as they can and respond to every call. We still have the storm in the state. I hope everybody in the northern part of the state is careful. We got, we, it's a lot of rain. Um, we're going to have a lot of standing water. Uh, I think everybody just needs to be really cautious right now. Um, let the first responders do their job. Help your neighbors. Um, don't don't get it. Don't drive into standing water. Walk in it. Don't touch down power lines. Uh, don't put a generator inside your house. Uh, there's a lot of things. Be careful with power tools. I'm just you know, you know. I was a governor. I went through four hurricanes. I just you know. You don't want anybody to lose their life. It's just, it's just devastating. Senator, what about the causeway that takes you out to Sanibel Island? I know there are a lot of people that live on Sanibel Island. Do you have any word yet? It might be too early to answer this, but when that causeway will be fixed, because a portion of it collapsed, so the people who are trapped on the island won't be able to get, get inland. Well, hopefully there's not many people trapped on the island. I, you know, you I, think I, most I've, left? I've spoken to, I've spoken to uh, a lot of people from Sanibel, and I know they, everybody I, I talked to, of course, had evacuated. So hopefully there's not many. Um, you know, it's going to be a lot of work. Um, we had to, you know, as governor, we, we had to accelerate a lot of things to, uh, to get roads back open. Uh, so I know everybody's going to work hard. Uh, it's got to be a, everybody's got to work hard. Locals, state and federal has got to work together to try to get these things done. But the first thing, we've got to protect life. Um. Senator, uh, you mentioned it in your first answer, but that report from the Lee County Sheriff saying hundreds of possible, it didn't, it didn't say possible, hundreds of fatalities. What do you know about that? Are we able to confirm that? How soon will it be? And, and I got to imagine that's all intertwined with re ongoing rescue efforts. Yeah, I know that um, there's a lot of rescue efforts, um, and I know that um, everybody, we're all hoping that the number is zero. Um, this was a deadly storm. This is, it, the storm surge was just uh, horrible. Uh, so I hope it's zero. I know the sheriff, uh, he has a great team. They're working hard. Um, I know we got rescue teams going in to try to help everybody. Uh, so let's all, I mean, we're in this together. Let's help each other and let's be, let's be safe. So I hope it's zero and we'll, we'll see what, it, we'll see what happens as, uh, uh, the day goes on, uh, but it's good. It's devastating. I can tell you that. I've seen. I've talked to a lot of people. I've seen a lot of pictures. It's devastating what happened, especially in the Fort Myers area. So let me ask you. Uh, I was just talking to a sheriff who said, you know what we need from the federal government? More high water vehicles. I mean, they're not in Washington. Where are they? And can you get them? Yeah, we, I mean, my experience has been that the, the federal government uh, worked with me, FEMA worked with me, other National Guards. A lot of that is through the National Guards around the country. And so the way the process works is uh, the state would ask for it uh, through, or the county would ask for it, and then a National Guard from another state would um, would say they could do it, uh, and then they would they would get them as quickly as possible. So I know everybody's going to work together. My experience was with well, National Guards all across the country um, uh, worked really well together to get us the resources we needed. Uh, I'm sure that we there's going to be some um, uh, helicopter that we need, uh, boats we're going to need. There's going to be a lot of resources that we're going to need. Uh, the first thing is we got to keep everybody alive. Right. That's my I'm, biggest concern. I want everybody alive. And yeah. this, is a key, this is a key hour, right? These are key hours right now. Yeah, because you don't know. I mean, you don't know if, if somebody's injured and you know what what issue they're dealing with, and so you got you got to get to them as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. I can just tell you. I mean, people, the Coast Guard, what they did, our rescue teams, what they did in my hurricanes. I mean, it's it's unbelievable what these people will do uh, to try to protect protect life. Yeah, I know the president said that he's dispatched. Batching hundreds of FEMA personnel, activating thousands of National Guard members. I watched you last night on Sean's show, and you were talking about getting these roads back open because that's how we get the power back on. Yes, the priority is rescuing people, making sure people are safe and alive. But when, when you do talk about power, how long, in your experience, when you've gone through these hurricanes in Florida as governor before, how long did it take, how, how long could these people in Florida expect to be without power? 
you know, uh, what they have to do first is they have to do an assessment. So the first thing you do, you, it goes like this. You got to get you got to get the roads open so they can get there. Then you've got to find out which lines are down. Uh, I know that um, all of our utilities they work well together. They're bring, they were bringing in people and they're going to get them uh, on the ground as quickly as they can to get these things back up. Uh, so I'm hoping it's days. Um, the uh, the uh, so I but we just right. don't know how bad it is and mm -hmm. how dense it is and how much water they're in. I mean that's it's all those things that that really impact the ability of the utilities to get things reopened. Yeah. Senator, just a real quick question. I know after the shooting at the nightclub, you almost got uh, no communication with President Obama at the time. When will you know if this administration is truly working with Governor DeSantis? What should we look for to see if there is coordination and support? Well, the first thing is if the president is responsive, which he has been so far with the pre-landfall declaration, also with uh, with the um, uh, relief that he, uh, they agreed to either last night or this morning. I think that's the first step. I know that I've talked to uh, FEMA administrator uh, and also the lady from the southeast. They're on the ground, uh, so it's. But you know, you just got to. Everybody's got to keep working together, and I'm I'm hopeful. And I tell you what, if if there is a problem, I will be very vocal. Uh, I know the people at FEMA. I will be very vocal, and I will call them and see what I can do to. Accelerate everything. All right. I know you will. Yeah. Uh, Senator, thank you. Thank you. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.